UK Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Now we will discuss about selenium components. Selenium is not a, a single tool, it is suit of tools. Okay. Selenium is a suit of tools. It means it's when we say selenium it's not a single tool, it consists of uh, different tools. It is a suit of tools. Th those are uh, selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is one of the tools. Okay. Selenium RC or Selenium Web Driver okay. and then Selenium Grid. These, these three are the uh, components of uh, Selenium. Okay. Here Selenium IDG. Selenium, uh, uh, let's have a brief overview on these three tools as of now. Okay. We are uh, we have exclusive session for each and everything here. Okay. As of now, let me give a brief overview on these three. Selenium IDE, it is a plugin in Firefox browser. Okay. Selenium IDE, it's a bit, IDE means okay. Here IDE means integrated development environment okay generally any any tool uh, generally any tool which has interface we can call it as a uh, IDG let's say this is a uh, Excel software now here we have a kind of uh, features right different features this is something I can call it as an Excel tool or Excel IDE okay however it is a uh, plugin in the Firefox browser the main functions, the main functions are the uses of Selenium IDE are that we can record a script, we can uh, replay a script, okay. we can export the script, export the script into different flavors. Okay, here I was saying uh, here using Selenium we can work on different languages right? like C Sharp, Java, Perl. PHP, Python, Ruby, like this. Okay. So these are the main uh, three features of Selenium. We can record a script, we can replay a script, we can export the script into different flavors of languages. Uh, record and replay is something like our handicam. In our handicam, we can record a, we can shoot a video and we can replay it back, right? So here we can record a test case. Okay. We can record a test case and we can replay the test case flow. Okay, we can prepare it. So this is about Selenium IDE. It's a just introduction. We are going to uh, discuss in depth of Selenium IDE. Okay, and here uh, there is something called Selenium RC. Here uh, Selenium RC or uh, Selenium web driver. Okay. Yeah. In this, first we'll start with Selenium RC. Selenium RC means such a uh, here RC means remote control. Okay. Selenium remote control. Okay. 
for those people you know uh, hold on here today we are going to discuss a very important topic okay uh, this one okay i mean don't get bored uh, i know there are some set of students uh, who are already listening to all these things but today we are going to cover a bit important topic okay once you complete this uh, components we will get into a very important topic yeah. uh, selenium remote control here okay so it's a we can also call it as a uh, selenium 1.0 okay this is a old version of selenium selenium rc means selenium remote control we can also call it as selenium 1.0 it is a old version of selenium it means whenever the selenium has been uh, uh, for the first time whenever the selenium has been released okay, this was the first version okay now uh, in recent days we have selenium web driver okay selenium web driver is the uh, latest one okay basically our concentration will be on selenium web driver okay here uh, this is the latest version and uh, we will call it as selenium uh, 2.0 okay and our class will be on the selenium web driver okay and uh, the organization uh, the which is providing selenium okay they are encouraging us to use selenium web driver okay they are not encouraging to use selenium rc the organization which is providing selenium they are encouraging us to use selenium web driver okay they are not uh, preferable uh, they are they themselves are uh, not encouraging to use selenium rc okay because in selenium rc uh, we uh, we had some issues those issues has been overcome the here in selenium web driver that is the reason the organization which is providing selenium they are not encouraging us to use selenium rc they are uh, it's a kind of outdated outdated means nowadays uh, no one is not uh, using this uh, selenium rc okay so the organization which is providing selenium they themselves are asking us to use selenium web driver that is where in our class we are going to start with uh, we are going to understand selenium web driver okay and uh, third one is selenium grid yeah even we are going to understand the selenium grid it's basically it's a concept it's a concept to execute multiple uh, scripts on multiple machines okay it means say have a uh, 20 scripts so i have 20 auto 20 selenium automation scripts okay and say i have four machines okay and again this this four machines is like something like this say first machine the first machine is uh, uh, say windows 7 with firefox uh, 27th version okay now see second machine maybe uh, linux google chrome say some 35th version i'm not sure what is the latest version okay the third version sorry third machine probably uh, our uh, ios device okay ios device with some safari browser okay and say some fourth machine it might be a android it might be a blackberry again it might be a windows let me say windows 8 Uh, some uh, google chrome uh, version okay like this we probably we can have machines like this okay so here we will connect all these four machines to a, a central point from that central point we can execute these two scripts on these four machines okay these are the four machines so we can distribute uh, these two scripts uh, among these four machines okay that particular concept is called as selenium grid we are going to discuss this Uh, in our classes okay so this is a overall idea what are the selenium components okay uh, 
even have some slides, we will go through them. This talks about selenium components. The selenium is a suit of tools. Okay. It means uh, selenium consists of different tools. Selenium IDE, selenium RC, selenium web driver, selenium grid. Now here selenium IDE means selenium integrated development environment. And here uh, it is a Firefox plugin. I will show this. Okay, here we can record and playback tool. Record and playback tool means here we can record and then we can playback. I was saying here uh, we can record a test case flow and we can replay it back. Okay. Here there is a provision to export to required language. As I was showing, here we can export the scripts into different languages like C sharp, Java, Python, Perl, Ruby, like that. Okay. It's mainly useful exploratory testing. It means uh, exploratory testing means whether all the links in the application uh, is properly working or not. Like different navigations in the application whether all the navigations are working in the application or not. For that kind of purpose, generally we use Selenium IDE, but in real time we will not use Selenium IDE. Okay. In real time we will not use Selenium IDE to develop these steps. Okay. Probably this might be useful uh, uh, if you want to discuss uh, uh, this one. If you want to uh, you know use a kind of a na uh, navigations testing, okay, just to make sure that all the navigations in the application is working fine or not. For that purpose, probably this might be useful, but generally we will not use this Selenium IDE in real time. Okay. It's a starting point to learn the Selenium. However, this is a Selenium IDE is a starting point to learn the complete Selenium. Okay. However, even though we don't use it in real time, we are uh, we are going to discuss this Selenium IDE in, uh, in coming classes. Okay. Now, this is Selenium RC. We can also call it as Selenium 1.0. Okay, as I said, and this is a older version. And here in uh, here in Selenium RC scripts can be written in Java, Python, Ruby, .NET. Okay, now it is deprecated. It means it is a kind of outdated. Okay, and here it it is talking about a point. It uses Selenium server to run the scripts. Uh, it's a technical point. I uh, will discuss in the coming classes. Okay, uh, it's simple. Uh, you know, basically Selenium RC uses a concept called Selenium server. Okay, the naming sounds like a kind of a, a toughest, uh, what is a Selenium server and all. It seems like a toughest word, server. Right? When we when we hear to the server means we will imagine a kind of a, a bigger ha hardware configuration now. But it's not really, okay, just we used to call it as a Selenium server, that's it. It's a simple component, okay. Uh, basically in Selenium RC which uses a simple component called as Selenium server. Okay, don't think big, okay. It's a very simple component. It's a simple file. It is a file. That's it. Okay. Selenium server means it's a file. Basically, Selenium RC uses Selenium server to execute the scripts. Okay. And here, Selenium web driver, also called as uh, Selenium 2.0. Okay. Latest version. This is the latest version. It don't need the Selenium server to run the scripts. As I said earlier, here in Selenium web driver, it is, uh, most of the uh, issues has been fixed. Whatever the issues were there in Selenium RC, all those issues were fixed in Selenium WebDriver. That is where the time whenever it has been released Selenium WebDriver, from that time onwards Selenium is getting more demand in the market because most of the issues has been resolved. Okay, now it is like a very mature uh, tool. And this is uh, the difference between Selenium RC and Selenium WebDriver. This is a technical difference. We will uh, discuss these things in uh, one of the uh, session okay uh, during selenium web driver uh, classes you will understand this particular uh, point right away if i try to explain probably you may not understand this okay we will discuss in one of the class and selenium grid as i said scales uh, scale by distributing test on several machines basically it distributes the scripts on several machines okay and moreover here i said four machines and 20 scripts right? They can execute the, uh, these 20 scripts on these four machines parallelly. Okay. Manage multiple environments from a central point, making it easy to run the test against a vast combination of browser operating system. As I was showing some example, like uh, I was showing iOS browser with Safari, okay. uh, Windows 8 with uh, Chrome, 
Windows 7 with Firefox, it is talking about that point. Okay, browser operating system combination. Okay. These are all about uh, Selenium components. Okay. And I said I will show this uh, Selenium ID, right? Let me open some application and then let me show this Selenium ID or how it looks like. Probably let me open any other application. See here under tools. In the tools, there is something called Selenium IDG. Okay, if you open your Firefox, probably you will not find this. You have to install the Selenium IDG separately. Okay, this is Selenium IDG. Okay, here we can report, we can replay, we can. Um, uh, export the test cases into different languages. Okay. File, that is export test cases. If you have the Ruby, again in Ruby there are different flavors of Ruby, Python, Java, C Sharp. And here as of now it is not listed the Perl, PHP, uh, uh, the, other, the other two, because uh, for them again we have to install some more add-ons. Okay. However, this is uh, Selenium IDE. Okay. But here, uh, in in our uh, probably after current class, okay, here uh, this is main important topic. As I said earlier, okay, after completion of this, we are going to start from uh, Selenium IDE. Okay, if we want to understand Selenium IDE clearly, this is a prerequisite. This topic is a prerequisite. That is the reason I said. Uh, uh, after completion of this, we are going to start with Selenium IDE here. Okay, and moreover, this is the topic. Okay, fine. This is all about the Selenium components. Whatever we have been discussing, uh, it's it's a, a brief idea about the Selenium components. Okay. Uh, now let us move to a very very important topic called locators. This is very very important topic. Okay, throughout Selenium, uh, this concept is going to be used. I mean, whenever you want to write a Selenium scripts, you have to you are going to using you are going to use this concept. Okay. Now here, uh, first we will try to uh, understand with uh, one example here. Now assume uh, say this is a web application. Okay. Uh, one minute. Let me say for example, this is a Facebook login. Okay. See here, uh, we have uh, say uh, username text box, okay, password text box, okay, and say we have a sign in. Okay, this is a username text box, password text box, sign in. Okay, now here, uh, if I ask you to 
test this particular application manually. Say, if I ask you to test this application manually, one minute. Okay. Here, I assume this is a command being. Okay. If I ask you to test this uh, using a human being, okay. I mean, say if I this is the application, say this is a human being. I mean, say if I ask you to test it manually, how do you test it? In general, simple question. So this is the application, and say if I ask you, uh, if the if I ask you to test this application manually, how do you test it? What you will do? You'll uh, you'll open the browser. Okay. As a human being, you are going to open the browser. Okay. You are going to uh, open the URL. Okay. And here, say we have test case like uh, enter username, enter password. Okay. Click on um, sign in. Okay. So manually what you will try to do here, you will try to open a browser, you will uh, open um, uh, Facebook, okay, and then you will look for a login page, okay, probably my uh, CK might be, I'll, we'll see, yeah, okay, so we will open, then we will, uh, as a human being, okay, yeah. now here, basically our eyes plays a, a major key role over here, okay, now observe here, in this case, our eyes are playing a major key role, okay, and even our hands are also playing a major key role, of course, okay. Why? Because as a human being, our eyes are scanning where is the username, okay. Our eyes are going to scan the where is the username, where is the password, where is the sign in. So, for example, if you are not able to see a username, how we are concluding that we are not able to see the username? So, for example, due to some bug, the username section itself is not displayed in the application. How we are how we are concluding it? We are able to scan by using our eyes, right? We are able to scan by using our eyes, okay? And uh, of course, if it is able to, if we are able to identify it by using our hands, basically we are entering the username, okay? However, here our eyes are playing major uh, key role, right? Our eyes are identifying the this username section, this password section, and this sign-in section. Once it identifies, it performing the steps over here. Okay. Now, this, as a human being, our eyes are playing a key role. Say, if I talk with, if I say, uh, if I want to have it uh, through an automation script. Give a minute. Let me save this as part of our uh, uh, class folder. Uh, our uh, I gave name as BJ1 Salini and here we are, we are going to save uh, manual testing, how a manual testing is going to be performed. This talks about like how a manual testing is going to perform. As a human being, we are using our eyes and we are scanning the application and we are able to find the username, we are able to find the password, we are able to find the sign in. But say if I ask you to automate it, okay, now here uh, we will try to automate it. Now let me say automation testing. Okay. Now here say instead of this Okay, now here instead of uh, this human, uh, this manual testing, okay. Now let me talk about automation tool. Okay. Now we'll talk about an automation tool here. Now what are the automation tool that you are using? 
Now, if you want to automate that scenario here, say if you want to automate the scenario that you are uh, that you are uh, thinking, okay, one minute. So by using this automation tool, if I want to automate this scenario, what, what we need? This tool should able to identify this particular username, right? Like as in the earlier case, the human being was a, uh, playing a key role by using the eyes. But now here the automation tool also need the eyes, okay? Need the eyes and it need the uh, hands, right? Of course, may it, as I said, it basically needs the highs to recognize it. Once it recognizes it, it can do something. Okay. So here, uh, here the automation tool also require eyes to recognize the application. Then only we can automate it, right? Okay. Now here I'm using some general wording, general words, and I know here I'm using very very generic words. But here my intention is to make you understand. Okay. Technically, this concept is called as object identification. Okay, each tool has its own way of object identification. Okay, here I'm saying a human being going to uh, have the object identification by using the eyes. Okay. These are called as objects. This username, password, sign in. These are called as the objects. And here, uh, by a manual tester, uh, here eyes are playing a key role. Whereas here in the automation tool, uh, eyes are nothing but object identification. Okay, we need to have a mechanism, eyes mechanism in the sense um, a sensing mechanism. In other words, technically we call it as an object identification mechanism. This mechanism will be vary from the tool to tool. Okay, uh, uh, your QTP tool will have its own way of uh, recognition. Selenium tool has its own way of recognition. Okay, so here in Selenium automation tool, uh, this object identification concept will be called as the locators. Okay, it uses a concept called locators. Okay, I'll discuss about more of locators. Over. Okay. So Selenium uh, tool uses locators to recognize the application over here. Okay, it might be, I'm just talking, if you observe, I'm just talking about automation tool. I'm not referring Selenium, I'm not referring QTP. I'm just saying automation tool. So here, whatever the automation tool that we are, to, uh, that we are going to work on, that tool should have an object uh, sensing mechanism. Okay, they should have eyes. In other words, I, uh, the tool should have a sensing mechanism. Again, in a technical word, I can say a tool should have an object identification mechanism to recognize the application. Okay, so Selenium has its own way. That is what actually I want to explain here. Okay, now, now we'll go with more of details here. One minute. Now see here, uh, uh, now we understood uh, now, uh, any automation tool uh, need a object identification mechanism to scan or uh, to sense the application's objects. That is what we have been understanding. Okay. Now here uh, we are trying to dig into the uh, more details here in Selenium. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, well, uh, okay. Okay. So here, that is what we are talking about. Now we'll uh, uh, we'll talk with respect to selenium. Okay, I'm just giving a brief overview. Probably we'll discuss this in the next session, okay? Because it's we are running out of time, right? Uh, one minute. Yeah. See, we will be understanding how the selenium is going to have this object integration. Just now we we were we were trying to understand.
okay so here uh, actually now we are extending the previous topic okay we understood that each automation tool should have object and identification mechanism now here our concentration will be how the selenium tool is going to uh, recognize uh, uh, this object uh, what is the object identification mechanism in the selenium okay yeah. uh, we will we'll continue this in the next session okay Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.